Hey everyone, welcome to my first devlog for Wildwood, a graveyard defense game where you play as a frog with a lantern and you scare off ghosts. In this video, I'm going to show you how the game has evolved over the past four years from a simple prototype to something almost like a complete game. And then I'll give you a sneak peek of the updates that I'm working on right now. Hey, my name's Alan, and I've been working on Wildwood since 2019. Hop on over to the App Store and download Wildwood for free. It is kind of a love letter to one of my favorite games, Warcraft 3. I thought it would be cool to take a simple concept like wave defense and give it a rich, lush world to live in, like the ones that I fell in love with while playing Warcraft 3 back in the day. I also wanted to make a game that was simple and fun to play, but also a little bit challenging. My own personal goal is to learn more about programming and game design and slowly add new features and try to release a big update around Halloween each year. So far, Wildwood has gone through three major versions since I originally released it in 2019. Back in 2019, I launched version one of the game. It was more like a cool prototype than a full game though. I bought a human character from the Unity Asset Store and used some other off-the-shelf assets to get things rolling. But I did make most of the 3D models and textures myself. This version was played vertically. In 2020, I added two updates, versions 1.1 and 1.2, which brought in a new level and better game center integration that included worldwide leaderboards. The following year, in 2021, I released version 2, which was a huge update and was basically like starting over from scratch. I started a new project, made new graphics, I hired a composer to make a unique theme, and I rewrote a ton of the programming. Sometimes starting over is great because it helps clean up the project and it just makes it better. The following year, in 2022, I got to have a fantastic chat with some people over at Apple. Their feedback helped me figure out where to take the game next which led me to version 3. Finally, in the fall of 2022, I launched version 3 that was packed with ideas from my talk with Apple. It had a new potion brewing system, ecto drops, more ghost types, smarter enemy AI, better game center integration, weekly leaderboards, and tons of tweaks and bug fixes. There's even a statue in the graveyard that shows the top high score and shows it to all the players in the game. This is the current version that I'm working on and will hopefully be released this Halloween. I swapped the randomly generated ghost spawning system with a wave spawning system that gradually gets more difficult. Instead of having ghosts appear randomly throughout the level, you now have to face waves of ghosts. Each wave has a different number and type of ghost, and some waves have special conditions or challenges that make them harder. And this brings me to my last topic, in-app purchases. To be completely honest, over the course of four years, I've only made about $2 on my game. And that's fine. This has mostly been a hobby project to help me understand game development and programming better. But there are costs associated with keeping the game online, and I'd just love to be able to cover the $99 a year developer fee one day. However, I hate pay to win games and I don't want to put any ads in my game either. So I think cosmetics might be the best way to go. What do you guys think? After trying a bunch of other social platforms and getting nowhere with them, I'm giving YouTube a go. Honestly, even if it's just one person that subbed from watching this video, I'd be so happy. You can also hop on over to the app store and download Wildwood for free. A link in the description below. I really appreciate your support and any feedback you have. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next devlog.